Violate Shabbat, you can't be counted in the minyan. Violate Shabbat, your prayers will not be answered. Violate Shabbat, you are an enemy of Hashem. This is Torah saying, not me. Mm. Obviously, Hashem keeps you in this world because He doesn't want you to be His enemy. He didn't want me to continue being His enemy. He knew my potential. He knew that I could potentially keep Shabbat at some point or another. Even though He had to put me through my own version of Gehenom to get to that point, but nonetheless, I got there. Everyone else that's watching this, that's here, that hasn't gotten there, can get there, can get better, much higher levels than I ever can. It's not that hard. It's just fighting the Yetzirah. The question is, how stubborn are we? How much of a Kshe Olaf nation are we? If we're a stubborn, stiff-necked nation, then we have to go to Egypt in order to do Tshuva. But for wise people, we just follow the instructions and have a munah that it's all going to work out and he's going to fight our wars. When you pay attention to his details, you're going to be scared of him. When you're scared of him, that's already a very high level of tshuva. Very high level. It's, I wish that we could truly be scared of Hashem. Like we are scared of mankind. No one's scared of Hashem like they are scared of mankind. Hashem, you violate one of his major mitzvot, you don't cry even for one second about it. A cop pulls you over, oh, you're going to cry for a week because he gave you a $300 ticket. That's reality. Before he even pulled you over, you're already scared that he maybe he's going to turn the light, you know, every time somebody passes a cop, they always look in the mirror. He's going to pull me over, he's going to pull me over. I, I, I drove 70 on a 60, I'm not sure. <laughs> Everybody's scared of this cop. Nobody's scared of Hashem. <laughs> so if we're scared of him, then we can believe in him. If we believe in him, then we're going to listen to the teachings. If we listen to the teachings, then we can sing. At the end of this parasha, 